be around regular people i think people want that more than ever so i think this lockdown if anything has really stoked or kind of built up an appetite for people to go out again so once we're able to go out i think there's going to be a boom like we've never seen i think even the most terriblest of promoters the horriblest of clubs i think they're going to go they're going to see a really really big upswing in the amount of people that come to their venues 100 percent. i'm pretty sure and i think this absence this being at home being locked in uh not being able to go out freely in the place that you you know and love has really made people think you know what once everything does open up i'm going to take a bunch of it and not take it for granted but live nation is is saying as much in this article here from variety it says live nation reports 98 drop in second quarter revenue but predicts the 2020 and 2020 2021 sorry in 2022 will be record years it says the following it says um second quarter earnings call with live nation's executives on wednesday was full of hope promise and even swagger for 2021 and 2022 not surprisingly though the current numbers were grim with revenue politically down to a staggering 98 percent year on year on the company's quarterly earnings report Revenue was 74 million for the quarter, down from 3.2 billion the same time in 2019. Just imagine that hit they're taking. So everyone is getting hurt. Everyone's getting in the neck. Unless you're Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk and, I don't know, Warren Buffett, you're just getting slammed out there, right? It is what it is. Um, it says he had Live Nation's net loss for the core second quarter was reported at 568 million compared to the net income of 170 million two million dollars in the quarter last year nonetheless the company reported on its call on wednesday afternoon it believes it has a significantly it, it has significant liquidity to maintain critical operations until the show's return which live nation anticipates will happen in a big way summer 2021 i agree with that one especially once we get the vaccine he's the course is the following from the ceo mark rapion he says we won't be doing dj sets in the hamters anytime soon we're gonna play long and safe which i agree it says among the stats cited live nation says that 86 percent of the fans have chosen to hold on to their tickets for rescheduled shows instead of asking for refunds indicating a strong desire to attend concerts in the future now this is a bit skewed because i'm not sure live nation have the most flexible um run policy in the world but if let's say for instance they do and you can refund most tickets to have 86 people decide hey i'm going to defer it to next year shows that people's appetite to go out is really really high and once events start popping up all over the place i think tickets are going to sell out like oh for instance a good example do you see the haim pre-sale tickets um one of my favorite um indie bands from back in the day that have released a new album uh, recently one of my favorite tracks summer girl that video is bloody fantastic but haim put out um their tickets for their tour um uh next year and i'm pretty sure they sold out within minutes right and that was kind of late next year too i'm pretty sure but don't ever quote me on that one so obviously you've seen people's appetite is really there it continues here it says the number of fans throwing their tickets uh for festivals into the following year rather than opting for a refund is lower at about two thirds but live nation pointed to strong sales for festivals in europe that have already gone on sale for next summer saying that 19 million tickets have been sold for 20 2021 shows bloody hell in the call rapino expressed faith in vaccines and treatments to make the world safe for shows a year from now which is true i think even if they don't do vaccines they're going to find other ways whether it be open air shows like what the procession crew did where you can essentially get more people in and sort of say there's social distancing when they're not because it's not in like a closed environment or whether it's just doing some alternative things like having micro festivals in a big field with only a certain amount of people going inside you can do some interesting things with it so i'm sure they'll find a way around it next year because they're not gonna be able to take two years in a row of no earnings um it continues it says as for earnings rapino says we didn't want um deferred revenue to uh to any we didn't want referred revenue to have any false narrative to it we are leading the industry he said in, in the offering refunds to fans who want them for postponed shows, suggesting that some competitors are determined to hold on to that ticket money at any cost of its image, which is true, isn't it? I don't think that's good for long term. You shouldn't be trying to fuck over your customers, isn't it? Trying, if you can afford to give them a refund, give them a refund. But if you can't, be upfront with it. But don't try and, you know, as I think, who did it? Is it Afro, Afro Nation? What's that? What's that thing in Portugal? That guy sort of essentially told everyone, "You can go fuck yourselves. Your tickets deferred to next year, no refunds, isn't it? But you shouldn't be doing that." Anyway, it says here. Um, it says, "I believe 2021 and 2022 will be record years, um, regardless of what the quarter exactly we scale at. The business will be stronger than ever. I definitely agree with that, especially with the high ticket prices that can really clean up." Live Nation reps on the call said the company is talking about a spring return to business outdoors in 40 countries, and that the businesses uh, could see a return to concert going in some markets. Before 
before the spring, but that determination will be different from different territories. It said the US, they indicated, will take the longest in ramping up, of course, because they're dealing with it horribly. He says, but the 50 um, amphitheaters that Live Nation managers will provide an advantage. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, so that's that's a really cool article. I'll link it, link it in the show notes. You read the whole thing, but I do think it kind of speaks to what I've been hypothesizing myself that, you know, we've all been locked down. We've all been having a bit of a terrible time not being able to go to shows, go to gigs, go to clubs. Um, I think once everything reopens, they're going to have record boom, record years. Even the worst places are going to see an uptick in people going out and they're going to have to be able to maintain it. And it's also going to make them have some un- unrealistic uh, expectations of what their business is actually doing really because i don't think it's going to be an accurate representation of where they sit but hey it doesn't matter at least you get people to come in on your show 